Но они не будут. Да, они не будут. Ну не. All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I have to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, my Shach, um, like ever shy. That is to say, Yahweh, being named the Heavenly Father, who the world will call God, and Yahweh Shai, being named His only begotten Son, who the world will ignorantly call Jesus Christ. This is brother Kasadi from WFI Jersey, Philly, and um, I was checking out this this video about two minutes in, and you know, it had befall me, it had behooved me, I should say, you know, to make this video right now and let you know what's going on. So I'm gonna pull it out real quick. It says, uh. It says, this is Julia Davis, a uh, news reporter. It says, more apocalyptic predictions and nuclear threats on Russian state TV. Right, so this is their, this equivalent of our NBC, CBS, Fox News, CNN. This is what they're talking about on TV. On Fox News, they might be talking about, damn, Johnny Depp winning the case. Or what's happening in sports right now. And things like that. But over in Russia, their Russia State TV, they're talking about all hell breaking loose. They're talking about they're talking about nukes. It says some of the Kremlin's propagandists argue that the world is descending into a nuclear abyss. There's no argument. That's in the Bible. And we're gonna bring it out. It says, but the Russians should be happy about it. Others seem borderline delirious. Are they cracking under pressure? Watch. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> so this damn devil hopped on this thing and started laughing. He's laughing, but he's about to talk about nukes and what's about to happen next. Let's bring it up. <laughs> so, so, of course, we don't understand Russia. So there are subtitles at the bottom. It says, if people were dying... Weren't dying. He says, except for the fact that we're moving towards such an escalation. We're descending into, into bloody pages of world history. And that's in the Bible. We're, by, we're literally on the brink of all hell breaking loose. Right? We're literally on the brink of all hell about to break loose on earth. Let me bring it out real quick in Isaiah. That's the spirit I was just reading Isaiah chapter 24. This is Isaiah 24 and verse 3. It says that land shall be utterly emptied. So the Lord didn't say we're going to continue on for years and years and we're going to have a good time here. And everything's going to be peaches and cream. And damn your favorite haagen dazs ice cream. With a damn uh, root beer on the side. That's not, that's not what the Lord is talking about. The Lord said there's going to be all hell breaking loose on the earth. You're going to see men screaming at the top of their lungs. You're going to see little kids not knowing what the hell is going on and then being damn jammed up. You're going to see the mother damn getting jammed up on the side of the road. You're going to have to make a decision that day. You're going to see Jake swinging from the light poles. You're going to see men lynched on trees. You're going to see fire destroying in different cities. You're going to see nuclear missiles damn falling out of the sky and all over the damn news and things of that nature. That's what's going to happen in these upcoming days. Any given second, there's going to be a nuke that's going to hit Ukraine. And that's, you know, most high willing. And that's during the time when all hell is really going to start kicking off. Why? Because you're going to see the rest of the nations, they're going to, you know, try to go, go to war against Russia and they're going to be utterly destroyed. Chiefly who? America. It says that land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled for Yahweh has spoken this word. Right. So this thing is, you know, this is playing upon tables. This is put out in the earth for all that's reading the Bible and all that have ears to hear to hear and understand. It says the earth mourneth and fadeth away. What's going to make the earth fade away? Right? Nukes. Missiles. Right? That's what's going to make the earth fade away. It says the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haunty people of the earth do languish. Who are the haunty people? The proud people of the earth. The so-called white men. They're the proudest people that's ever created. And guess what? They're going to languish just like fire devouring a damn piece of stubble. Just like fire damn devouring a piece of wool. Just like firing, fire devouring some trees. 
that Mosai is about to destroy these white men like how he, he would destroy a tree. They're going to be utterly chopped down and annihilated. And we're witnessing the fall of America. A time our forefathers had great joy to be able to witness. The time the so-called Black Panthers, they would have loved to have seen. Right, those from back in the day. But now we're seeing all hell about to break loose on the earth, all done in righteousness, because the Most High is doing this. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. And we know the so-called white man, he rules the world right now. Right? That's why the earth is defiled. You got GMO foods. You got hybrid meats. You got damn uh, something known as a geep. A damn geep. It's a goat and a sheep mixed together. What did the Lord ever say he makes a goat and a sheep? You got food. You don't even know what the food is. This is madness. I mean, this is madness where we got to live at right now. The food are jammed up. The water are jammed up. The air are jammed up. Every day you see damn chemtrails outside. I mean, when is enough going to be enough? For you to come back and, and, and get down with the Lord. Right? So you're seeing all these things in the world. You should know what time you're living in. It's a very serious time we're about to move into. Where you have devils literally on TV. Talking about we're descending into bloody pages of world history. And they're doing it with a smirk on their face. While the Russian, while the damn American TV is talking about sports and what Jason Tatum did and, and if the warrior is going to come back, we're witnessing Russia come out and say, look, we're about to blow America to shreds if they, if they continue to send these weapons over to Ukraine. Because this ain't no damn game. Let's bring it out. In the кровавым страницам мировой истории. Что все те, которые говорят, мы считаем для себя, теперь нет никакого ограничительной, который был в договоренности между, там, в пакте России и НАТО. Мы сейчас поставим, что хотим, куда хотим. Ну, попробуйте. He said, those who say, basically, that, you know, they can violate that Russia, NATO act, and they could deliver whatever we want, whenever we want. He said, he said, try it. Just try it. America, what you going to do? It is man told you try it, just try it. Попробуйте. Но нам бы вот этот пережить. Если все будет развиваться так, как развивается, то где-нибудь на Байкале останется пара мутантов и все. Все остальное будет. He said the rest. Now we get some urgent news kind of break out, but we're going to, you know, we're going to touch on that in a second. It says the rest will be destroyed in a massive nuclear strike. So he's speaking real bold on the things that's coming to the earth, specifically to America and to Ukraine. Right, let's read on or continue on. К этому все идет. При том уже не в зависимости от желаний какой-то из сторон. Потому что если сейчас НАТО решит, что она может размещать на наших границах все что угодно, они сейчас будут все больше и больше навязывать американского оружия Украине. Украина сейчас возьмет, бабахнет, попадет по одной из наших ядерных станций. И понеслась. И процесс будет с такой скоростью неуправляемым, что мало никому не покажется. Жахнем и ничего не будет. He said, bang, there's nothing left. It'll get to bang in a moment. See? See what's going on there? The Lord said it'll get to bang in a moment. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. So we don't even need to bring out this video or we shouldn't, you know, have need of it. But as watchmen, we got to bring a report out to the people and let the people know what's happening right now. Now, we seeing what's happening in the earth. You know what's happening in the earth. You know, there's no food in the earth. You know, the gas prices is going up in the earth. You know, men is dying in the earth. You know, it's going to be more riots over the summer in the earth. You know, these things that's happening in the earth. But what you don't know is how soon we are to the end of this earth. And that's what the Lord is about to say right now. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. But just like that, out of nowhere, all hell break loose. The lights go out. 
damn EMP attack or whatever, however it's going to go down. EMP, a damn whatever, a, a false flag, they coming and grabbing us up. That's out of that's 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 in a matter of moments. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So that's really any given second. Right? Any given second. That all hell is gonna break loose in the earth. And and we got these devils, like we mentioned, he's saying, and it'll get to bang in a moment. So you got to remain vigilant and continue to watch for these prophecies and continue to call on the name of the Lord. The Lord is going to, you know, all those that believe in the Lord and trust in the Lord, that's all those is going to be delivered in that day. Right. The most High has always been a help and a strength and a rock for those that's believing and calling upon his holy name. But those that's not believing in the Lord and calling upon his holy name, it ain't not going to be delivered in that day. This is Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. So you got to continue to trust in the Most High in these days, the times that we living in. You got to remain in perfect peace and have your mind upon Yahweh by Hashem Mashiach Gomelach Yahushai, who's a rock, our shield, our fortress. Verse 4, trust ye in Yahweh forever, for in the Lord Yahweh is everlasting strength. So the Lord is our strength. He's our hope. When we're down, he's there to lift us up. Right? When a proud of the earth is puffed up, the Most High is going to bring them down. And that's what we're seeing right now. Right? We don't want to continue on another two days, another three days here. We want this thing to be over with. So we're going to continue to believe in the Most High. And he's, everything's going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to lay all our enemies, enemies under our feet. Right. It, let's, let's read verse six. It says the foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. So we're going to tread down these other damn nations, man. And that's the spirit. We're going to tread them down. The Lord said we're going to overcome all things through Yahweh. By Shem, my shot, going like it was shot. Right. Our God and our God only. All right. So you got to continue to hold on to this thing. Whatever you're dealing with, cast it to the side because all hell is about to break loose in the earth. So this is our last indecisive battle. So look, this is it right here. The rulership about to be given over to Russia. All hell is about to break loose in the earth. There's about to be nuclear missiles, and America is about to be destroyed. The elect is about to be about to be sealed, and the persecution of the church is about to happen right before your eyes. And Yasha Allah will finally be glorified. With that, I will be a strong, strong Shalom. And Lord willing, you continue to watch for these prophecies, continue to endure in these last days, continue to magnify the name of the Yahweh by Hashem, Mashiach, and continue to stay in the spirit. With that, Kwame Asherala, Shalom.